I've been making robots and other inventions for steampunk festivals for some years now, and I've been fortunate enough to be interviewed on occasion. I've decided to make a video of my favourite interview so far. I was visited by a gentleman from the BBC called William Wright, who was very interested in my Victoria Wood robot. I shall start with a video which briefly shows my dragon robot. I was surprised that he had no interest in that one. <laughs> I, think she's, uh, I think she's watching me. <laughs> At that time, the Dragon Backpack was the only transmitter I was using to control my robots, which is why I took it with me. Here is a slightly longer video for the BBC's website where I talk more about my Victoria Wood robot, which was in a prototype phase at the time. You've outdone yourself, John, this time. What, uh, just tell me about this latest robot. This is Victoria Wood, and as you can see, her head is fully animated. She can blink, move her eyes left and right. Also, there are wheels under so she can move around with gesture control or manual controls and she can move her arm for various gestures such as waving and things like that. Here is the radio interview. I shall display some photos as the interview went on for nearly five minutes. Now, uh, the robot I was mentioning, I was very impressed with this robot, actually. I like robots. I mean, I know that's a funny thing to say, but they're quite quite cool, aren't they? Quite exciting robots. Um, and this one uh, has been made by John Adlington. He's an electronics engineer, and he's made all sorts of clever contraptions over the years uh, for uh, the Lincoln Steampunk Festival. That's where he normally is. That's where he normally shows some of these things off. And fingers crossed, all being well, Lincoln Steampunk Festival will be back in Lincoln over the August bank holiday weekend. But John's made all sorts. He's made a talking eagle, and he's made dogs, a steampunk robot dog, and he's made a gremlin in a backpack, and he's made robot eyes and flapping wings, and he's done all sorts. This is his most ambitious project. It's about four or five foot tall, something like that. It's a lady steampunk robot in a pretty blue dress. And I met up with John and the lady robot to find out more. I'll tell you what, if you uh, if just lift the... It's because it's just, it's just got two motorised wheels at the front. There we go. Well, here we are, John, in your back garden. And we're not alone. The, uh, has she got a name? Yes, uh, I've called her Victoria Wood because she's Victorian and mostly made of wood. Now just explain what we're looking at here. Well, at the moment we're, we're looking at uh, a robotic lady with a mask over her eyes and um, a fairly wide dress to hide the wheels and um, the sleeves are quite puffy to hide the, all the servos and mechanics of the arms, so it's quite a good dis disguise for the engineering side of it. I mean, very much in steampunk costume, with the hat and the goggles and everything else as well. Yes, it is for the uh, August um, bank holiday primarily, but I may take it to other events if, um, if, if all going well. Now, while we're talking, she's looking around and her eyes are moving and she's blinking <laughs> and uh, it looks really, really good. When you go to the Steampunk Festival, there are going to be loads of people wanting photos. Absolutely hundreds of photos get taken of me, so I feel, I suppose, a bit of an obligation that each year I've got to show something new. I got bored of making robot dogs. I thought, I don't want to be known as the dog man or anything like that, so I thought I'll retire. I want to be known as the lady robot man. Yeah. <laughs> or just John. <laughs> <laughs> so she's moving around, heads moving, left and right, eyes moving, blinking. What else does she do? Because you mentioned the large dress, the wide dress because of the wheels. So she can move, move around. She can, and I use the same gesture control as, as the dog, where I have accelerometers on my hands, so I can move my hands around and direct the dog and use the same technology in the lady, so I can control her that way or on the control panel on my arm. And that panel also controls the various arm movements, like, like various waves that it can do. So she can wave. What sort of uh, waving does she do? <laughs> well, 
we've got a high wave, a low wave, and just because, just to give it a name, a queen wave, partly just to show that the hands can also rotate as well as the arm moving. So you're controlling all this, but you could be quite a way away. You know, she she could, and and she can stop and stare, and you know, she's moving ahead, but she can she can stop and stare and stare at people as well. So you you, I mean, you're going to have fun with this. Yes, it, the the transmitter goes at an incredible distance. Um, I don't actually know what the limit is, and I do have manual control over the head so yes indeed if I wanted to have a little bit of fun with people I can just I can follow people around if I really want. It's not just having the ability and the know-how to do these things it's having the ideas isn't it having the ideas as well and your mind probably obviously works in a slightly different way to everyone else's because your ideas are very (laughs) out there creative odd. I don't really consider myself a creative person Um, I'm, I'm just just an electronics engineer that just I thought at the steampunk festival, what can I do? I'm not very an art. I'm not an artistic person. And I thought, well, I can build inventions and robots and things. So well, and it uh, came from there. Now people will get to see you and Victoria Wood um, mm. at the steampunk festival <laughs> in August. Why are you laughing? You came up with the name, um, and it's great. You know the fact that it's coming back to Lincoln as well. That's such a big thing as well. That uh, the steampunk festival is going to be back over the August bank holiday. So you must be looking forward to that. Yes, I'm hoping it's uh, for the full four days. I also like to do, you can put in for, for lectures, I'm going to do a little lecture about uh, electronics for inventions. I thought that'd be a nice thing to do. That'd be great. You can learn from John. Uh, there he is with his latest creation.